This begins to isolate the mass for the body, creates the rump, and starts to isolate material for the hind legs. We've completed now the hindquarters and flanks of this animal. It's time to move forward and isolate the material for the antlers. Now having isolated the mass for the horns and pulled the horns out, we have also, in doing that, isolated the mass for the head, the front legs, the chest, and the neck. To do this, we're going to hold the back of the neck against the bick to preserve the transition. We're going to take a quarter inch wide fuller and we're going to fuller in a depth of about a quarter of an inch. to curl the horns. I'm going to do that. I'm going to start the curl by placing the ear right at the tip of the bick and rolling that horn using the hammer. Mm -hmm. 